bet you're asking yourself, why does everyone go to Texas? Why is it everybody films deer hunting down there? Well, we'll tell you why. Because this state has more deer than any other state. For that matter, you can combine some states and they still have more deer. In the right place at the right time, you can see more bucks in one day's hunting than you might see all season back home. So why do many people hunt Texas? Texas deer in most areas are smaller in body size than the deer you'll be hunting in the Midwest or even East. They say there's more ground shrinkage in Texas than anywhere else, and it's simple. When a mature buck might weigh 125 pounds or so, and you're so used to seeing bucks that weigh 180 on up, and both have racks the same size, which one is going to look bigger? <laughs> I rest my case. The state of Texas has done a magnificent job in managing their deer herd, even on some of the public land in Texas, which isn't a lot. They are taking bucks that are scoring in the 180s on up, no matter where you are from. That's some big bucks in anyone's book. But that's not what it's all about. It's about having numerous opportunities on your hunt, being able to see lots of game and being treated like royalty. That's the Texas tradition, and no matter where you are, be prepared to have a warm Texas down-home welcome. Is that a bear or what? Look at the size of this bear! He's a blizzard. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. You know, this week, we, well, you're probably going to say, another show from Texas? But this is our only show from Texas, and we have it so packed with exciting adventures that you don't want to miss it. From Bubba to David to, well, Jess. to Jess, not having that good of a time. No, he didn't. But we want to share with you some incredible hunting late season down in Texas. If there is one state that needs to be recognized for understanding the future of deer hunting years ago, it has to be Texas. They took the aggressive approach a long time ago and knew how deer hunting can impact the overall economy in the state. There are more deer in this state than some states combined. They talked and started deer management years ahead of its time when most states were just starting to think about managing their deer herd, Texas was already doing it. With all of this and a strong backbone to protect their heritage, Texas will have some incredible deer hunting for a long time to come. Now, they may hunt different than some of us do, using feeders, fencing in large tracts of land, and harvesting a pile of does in their area. This should not be looked upon as a bad thing. Heck, in most of the country, if you didn't have a supplementary food source, you might never see all the deer in this thick, infested brush country. Why then are so many shows and videos always hunting Texas? That's simple, because they have a lot of deer. There are days we have gone and sat out in our tree stands and seen more bucks in one day than we've seen the whole season back home. In the right place, you can have more opportunities in a few days than you'll have all season somewhere else. Are we saying Texas is easy? By no means. You have to hunt. Be patient and know when to move and when not to. You have to watch your scent, probably even more than ever, because there are so many deer. You still need to put up your stands in the right area and be camouflaged. But as always say, being in the right place at the right time, you might have a chance of a lifetime. Just remember, the bodies might be a bit smaller than you're used to. And our team will tell you, these deer can duck an arrow fast and be gone before you know it. So be ready and meet the challenge head on, for Texas hunting can be a great experience for you. And nothing can beat the great big Texas hospitality you get every time we venture down to Texas. There's lots of different ways of hunting down in Texas, and one of them, one of the main ones, is hunting over by a feeder. Whether you're hunting the trails to and from, or some people just hunt right by the feeders. A lot of people in the states where you can't bait, you know, they might look at that and go, well, that, you know, that's, I wouldn't do that. But the thing is, is you have to realize it's legal down there, and that's, that's a way that they've hunted for and that's forever. How, and that's how they draw a lot of the deer out of that thick brush and that thick cover, because otherwise you'd never see them. And it also allows them to be more selective in, hard, you know, in, in doing deer management because they have time to watch those deer from a farther distance, see which deer they want to take out of the herd. 
and they get better counts of their deer, you know, knowing what's coming in and out of the well, feeders. And one other thing, too, is you have to remember that you still, even hunting by a feeder over a food source, you still need to watch, be as scent free as Absolutely. possible, your movement. You probably have to watch so. the winds. Probably more so, because they're going to be more skittish there, because they're going to a food source and they're going to be looking around for predators. Yep. So no matter what we think of it, some of us may agree, some of us may not, the bottom line here is let's stop fighting amongst ourselves. If that's the way they do it in Texas and it's legal, folks, let's stand strong. Let's fight together instead of fighting against each other. As far as equipment, you don't need anything special over what you already have for bow hunting back home whitetails. The only thing we can tell you is once again is these deer might be a bit smaller than you're used to. This can throw off judging distance in a hurry. So make sure you bring your rangefinder. If you hunt early season, be prepared for hot weather. We still like to go down there in late winter when most seasons are closed in the Midwest. When it's cold and freezing back home, it is a pleasure to travel south and be in so much hunting action, you just don't know what to do. But we all know what to do, and that is bow hunt Texas. Also remember, if you're trying to get someone new into the sport or wanting to get the kids in bow hunting, Texas is a great opportunity for all the action, all the game they're sure to see and get some opportunities. And please remember, keep it fun, exciting, and most of all, keep it safe. See, let's count him up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Probably 19, 20 inches inside. He went maybe, I don't know, probably 70, 75 yards. Put the, put the air right where I needed it. I just couldn't be any happier. One of the things that you're going to deal with down in Texas is, I mean, there's days that it could be severely hot. Extremely hot. Too. I mean, late season, too. Oh, yeah, it? where you're sitting there and you just have sweat just pouring down you. And I mean, the problem there is you got to remember the more we sweat, the more we disperse scent. So you want to have your scent away sprays. We always carry a small, little bottle of our spray, and that is when you're sitting there for any period of time and if you're sweating a little bit, spray it, take your hat, spray it, you know, spray yourself down again. Even when in our scent lock suits, we still. We still spray down just to help try to mask somewhat of that perspiration that's coming off you all the time. And, and if it's hot before you even get out to your stand, wear a pair of shorts or a t-shirt washed and scent-free so right, absolutely. not in downy or tight or something like that. So you're going to have that scent stinking up your whole area. Yep. But walk out there in your shorts and get dressed out there. That way you're not going to sweat yourself up. There's all kinds of different um, scent-free wipes you can take out with you and wipe down if you did get sweaty on the way in. And I mean, one of the other things is if you're wearing like rubber boots, I mean, you're going to perspire a lot more. If you've ever seen those, uh, th they're boot dryers. Yes. Huh, Vic? I mean, mm -hmm. don't, those go with us everywhere because every day you come back and your feet are so sweaty and if you smell that boot, you're like, oh, man. Put those on the dryer and the next day, that scent's gone. But just a couple tips to deal with that warm weather honey.
smelled gum. He didn't go to one yards. Stood in the brush. I think I see this start wobbling and fell right over. That's what I'm talking about. Ralph, it's great, man. We're having a blast down here. Tell you what, I wish you would think he was here with us, because we ain't been here 30 minutes. Seen four or five bucks, and he's a nice one. There he is. Nice job. This ain't a bad South Texas buck here. I tell you what, this buck didn't even know he was shot. Let's see. Hey, nine pointer, not a bad buck, carries his mass well. I tell you what, I'm proud of him. Ralph, I tell you what, we're having a good time down here. You and Vicky was here with us. Y'all be enjoying with us, I'm gonna tell you what. It's a pleasure to be a team member on the Archer's Choice, I tell you what. They did some nice bucks here. We've seen a lot of bucks this afternoon. This one come by, couldn't pass him, I tell you. Texas. Everything here that grows is made to either cut you, prick you, pinch you, or kill you. So the saying goes, and you better believe it. When we talk about cover, the state has it. Most of their hunting style is done by feeders located in and around thick brush. Brush so thick, you need something to draw out the deer. For if you didn't, you wouldn't see anything. Right here. I can hear him crash thrashing around. Oh. Oh. Hunting bucks on the ground with the double bull blinds at the Covenant Ranch. This is awesome. Where at? Look at Oh, oh, yes. Oh, that was back a little, huh? Yeah, well, a little bit. That's all right. Oh, man, he looks better now. Oh, there you go. Wow, what do you get? Good, good, probably one, three, four-year-old deer, maybe? Yeah, it's probably two and a half-year-old deer. Good mask here. Good management. Great management. Good. 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 Congratulations. Well, thank you, sir. You did your job very well. Congratulations. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this week's show, and we want to thank Bubba, David, Jess, Chad, and Randy. We also want to thank the Conchita Ranch and the Covenant Ranch for allowing us to come down, our guys to come down and do some hunting there. You know, most of all, it doesn't matter what you take. They're all trophies, no matter what someone else might think. 
We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And until next week, same time. Same station. Right, right here, here on the Archer's Choice. Choice.